Hi, this is a demonstration on how to set up a secondary uh, medication for an IV. This is only a demonstration. It's not intended to be a study guide for your lab testing. For questions pertaining to lab testing, please consult the critical elements. So today we're going to take um, a secondary IV, um, usually an antibiotic, and we're going to run it into the patient. So the supplies that we need for this are our medication, our secondary tubing, and you'll know it's secondary tubing because it says on the bag, medication, secondary medication set, and also there's a blue hook in here. And you need gloves and alcohol. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we're, we're going to grab our MAR, and the MAR is going to tell us what medication that we need. So we, we go, we grab our MAR, and then we find the medication that we're going to give. So this patient here, we're checking the name band, is Glory Anderson, and we're going to give her ANCEF 1 gram, and it matches up um, the, as the same. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some gloves and I'm going to assess the ID site for infiltration, uh, edema, redness, swelling, um, all those kind of things. So I'm assessing it and there's no edema, nothing like that. We're good to go. I'm going to remove my gloves and now I'm going to open up my secondary bag or secondary tubing. First thing I want to do is I want to close the roller clamp. This is the end that's going to go into the IV bag. This is the end that's going to go into the, um, into the uh, IV tubing. So we've done all our math and everything's good to go. We're going to remove the port. And we're going to remove the cover. And we're going to spike the bag. Now we're going to hang this on the pole. We're going to take our alcohol pad and we're going to clean this port. Remove the cap and then insert it. Now, remember, whatever's higher is going to run because of the pressure that's there. So, the way this is hanging right now, fluid is going to come from the bag down the tubing up into here. Now, you don't want to prime it like you did with the primary tubing because then you're going to waste medication. So, right now, secondary tu primary tubing is running, secondary tubing's off. Secondary is lower than the primary. We open this up, and as you can see, it's starting to flow. And now it's going to fill up this chamber here. When this chamber is half full, you're going to close the roller clamp on the secondary tubing. Pay particular attention not to fill this all the way up, because if you do, then you can't see your, your drips. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to hang it on the pole. Now remember, if these are both equal, Whatever it has more fluid is going to run. We don't want the, the primary fluid to run. We want the secondary uh, fluid to run. So we're going to take our blue hook and we're going to lower our secondary tubing, or our primary tubing. Now, secondary is higher than, than the primary. When I open this up, the secondary will run. Remember, everything in medicine, or most things in medicine, are based on pressure gradients. The definition of osmosis is uh, everything moves from area of high concentration to low concentration. So um, atmospheric pressure puts pressure on the bag and because it's higher, runs it through the IV tubing into the bag. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our secondary. But as you can see, it's not dripping, correct? The reason it's not dripping is because we need to open up our primary. This is how we're going to regulate it. Open up the second, secondary, count your drips from the primary. And I don't know if you can see it, but it, it's dripping now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my watch off, and I'm going to count the drips. So I might need 40 drops in a minute. I count, I count, I count. I find the rate that I want, and then I drop the whole thing, and I take a step back, and now I count for a full minute to make sure that my drops are within the range. And if they are, then we're good to go. Now, when this secondary stops, when there's no more fluid left in here, the pressure now shifts. The pressure here is now greater than here because there's no fluid in there. The primary bag will now start to run. Go back to your MAR, uh, document that you gave the med in the time, uh, wash your hands, and that is a demonstration on how to do an IV piggyback.